This video will show how to create a scatter plot and a trend line using Microsoft Excel. There are various predictive analytic models. For the purpose of this video, we will specifically look into linear functions. One form of linear function is a consumption function. So you can see over here that I have a consumption function where C refers to consumption and YD here refers to disposable income. Disposable income is income that we get after we minus tax. Let's get into the details of consumption function. So we can see here, C refers to consumption. A refers to intercept. Now, uh, in this case here, yeah, for consumption function, when we talk about intercept here, intercept here refers to autonomous consumption. Now, what do we mean by autonomous consumption? Yeah, specifically for the case of a consumption function here. Autonomous consumption is the consumption that a consumer will incur, yeah, whether he or she have any income. Yeah? And usually, autonomous consumption is incurred via either uh, taking out money from their savings or borrowing money from their friends. So you can see, if you refer to this diagram here, you can clearly see if Y here, which is the disposable income, if Y is zero, there will still be consumption taking place. B here refers to the slope. So you can see it's a straight line here. And B refers to the slope here. Slope here refers to changes in consumption divided by changes in income. Yeah. So what are we trying to interpret over here? We want to see if income changes by one unit, yeah, so it can either be in ringgit or dollar, we want to see the impact or the changes that it will uh, incur yeah, towards the consumption. And YD here refers to disposable income. So in this case here, we can see it's a linear function yeah, where there is a positive relationship between disposable income and consumption and in this case here if we look into this model we can say consumption here it's a dependent variable why because it depends on disposable income and disposable income here it's an independent variable yeah let me give you a bit more insights so i again have here the consumption function so now i've plugged in a, which is the uh, intercept, it's 20. And I have the B, which is the slope, it's 0 0.5. Yeah. So you can see if, let's say, I have an account of the uh, disposable income. Let's say it's 1,000. And I plug in into this function. So you can see 0 0.5 times 1,000, it will be 500. I plus 20. So consumption will equal to 500 and 20. So we can see that from this predictive model, we can see that someone with an income of 1,000 disposable income will consume okay, their portion of income worth of 520. If you look into the first diagram here, you can see that the line here, okay, it's a straight line, okay, it's a fitted line. Now, most of the time, what is going to happen is that when we collect data using our observation, we are going to get points like this. There yeah, are all these points here. And in order for us to get a predictive model, we need to find the best fitted line, yeah, which is the dotted line over here. So in order to do that, yeah, we can use Excel trend lines. Now what the Excel trend lines will do, it will display the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. Yeah. So let's look into an example using uh, Microsoft Excel. Over here, I have a hypothetical data. Yeah, it's the uh, sales of headscarf. So let's assume I have a boutique. And what I do, every single customer that comes to my boutique, I record what is their income, their disposable income, and the amount of sales that they incur in my boutique. So over here, I have... 25 customers, let's say it was for an entire day and I've recorded the information. Yeah, so I want to see how is the trend yeah, between the sales and income. Now, what we can do is in Excel, 
we can firstly create a scatter plot to understand the trend. To get a scatter plot, what you need to do is you go to insert, yeah, and what you do, you select your data, both of the data here, which is income and sales. So in this case here, my sales is a dependent variable and my independent variable here is income. What I do from insert here, I will go to this icon where I can see a scatter plot over here. I will click over here. Yeah, in the drop down menu, I will select scatter plot. So now you can see Microsoft Excel has automatically generated a trend line over here. So by looking into this scatter plot, one thing we are very sure that it's a straight line here. It's a upward trend over here where it shows that there is a positive relationship between over here. You can see in your um, X axis, we have the uh, disposable income and on the Y axis, we have your sales. Yeah, So we can see as the income is increasing, the sales is also increasing. So next, what we want to do, we want to get a trend line. So what Excel is going to do, Excel is going to find for us a best fitted line over here. And how do we do that? You go to this section here where it says quick layout. Yeah, you can see here function here. It's a straight line. It's a linear function. So you click on the linear function. So what has Excel done? Okay, Excel has generated a trend line over here. It's a fitted line over here. And it has also given us the value of the intercept and also the slope here. Yeah. So now let's interpret these values. So we can see from the trend line here, Excel has actually generated a function over here. So we can see sales equals to, here is the intercept, which is negative 184.85 plus the slope is 0 0.1269. Why? So how do we use this model and how can we get information out from this model? So let's say, yeah, how much will a customer okay, with an income of 3000 spend in the store? Uh, you want to get some prediction here. So what we can do, we can plug in the 3000 into the model here, 3000, and we can already calculate. Yeah, so the intercept here is going to tell us for every one dollar or ringgit that an individual is going to spend in the store, how much is going to be the increment in the sales? So why do I say increment? Because it's a positive value here. Yeah. So if I plug in the values and I calculate and I solve this, the sales will be equal to 199.85. Yeah. So you can see from the scatter plot, we have determined a trend line. And from the trend line, we have actually come up with a predictive model which will actually convey certain information to us. Yeah. Look out for the second part of this video, which is on a simple linear regression.